tonight on 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. John Locke, John Richardson, Freddie Flintoff, Rod Gilbert, Penny Bain, Susie Dent, and Rachel Riley. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy. To Way Out 10 Cats Does Countdown, a show all about letters, numbers, and conundrums. Did you know, for example, one of the reasons why 13 is unlucky is because there were 13 people at the Last Supper, and 12 of them had to listen to Jesus drone on and on and on. <laughs> Ten year old Reese Daly won Countdown twice in 2006, and I'm pleased to say just eight years later, kids at his school have finally stopped calling him Number Twat. <laughs> And a person who illegally exports sheep is called an owler, unless you're from Wales, in which case you're a sex trafficker. <laughs> Round of applause, I'm genius. <laughs> ah! Right, let's get started. <laughs> OK, let's meet our nice players. First off is Sean Locke. <laughs> Sean is a prolific writer and razor-sharp comedian, so in a game where skill with words determines the victor, there can only be one winner. John Richardson. <laughs> and Sean's teammate, Freddie Flintoff. <laughs> Freddie is unique among cricketers in that I've heard of him. Freddie, if you win tonight, how are you going to celebrate? Or, or what alcohol will you be celebrating with? <laughs> it's, it's strange, actually. No, I think it's... I don't do that so much anymore. I've gone a bit boring. You know, I've come on Countdown and I play cricket for kicks these days. <laughs> <laughs> Game more boring than cricket. <laughs> <laughs> You've got an MBE. Uh, what's more nerve-wracking, meeting the Queen or playing Countdown? I think it's quite similar. Um, I got a f well, I, I get a feeling I shouldn't be at either place. It was <laughs> <laughs> you turn up to the palace and you get an MBE for doing your hobby. It was it was quite a bizarre experience. It's one which you'll never find out, but it was bizarre. <laughs> so, Sean, if you could change one rule on this show, what would you what would you change about Countdown? That would be easy. I would take Rachel and I'd sit her where you are, because come on, this is 2014. Why should it always be a man in that role? And you will be up there in a sparkly dress. <laughs> and we, know, we know that you're very creative with numbers, so I think you don't know... <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't always add up, I fear. <laughs> OK, up against them this evening, it's John Richardson! <laughs> John's been going out with his girlfriend for a year now, which might sound good, but I've lost a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> John's teammate, Rod Gilbert. <laughs> Rod currently hosts a radio show on BBC Wales. The show blends music, comedy and idle banter, with warnings not to have sex with your sister, build wicker men or marry livestock. <laughs> no round of applause, amazing. <laughs> Uh, John, are Countdown champions born or can they be trained? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're born. They're not born Countdown champions, are they? are born pale, unpopular... <laughs> <laughs> ..lifeless people who spend their days with books and calculators. <laughs> they were born with, like, muscles and that, they'd play sport, wouldn't they? Or <laughs> cricket. <laughs> uh, Rod, you're quite... I mean, I don't want to upset you by saying this, but you're quite an angry man a lot of the time. Are there any words uh, that rile I, I, you? There's only one thing that's got in common with me being angry every time I'm on this show, and that's you. <laughs> <laughs> but are there any words that get you, kind of irritate you? I get angry with the things that the words <laughs> represent. The fact there's no point in getting angry with the words themselves. <laughs> it's just shooting the messenger. <laughs> Uh, 
I did get angry when they didn't allow Forsake. He didn't allow oh, it. Oh, I know. That was I tough. I thought you should have let me have that. It was tough. And I could just let you know right now tonight, Henning, if there is any trouble like that. I'll I'm be... here to sort it out, though. Yes, <laughs> well, you better sort it out in my favour. I'll vote you, Kip, and you immediately <laughs> after the show will be deported. <laughs> It's Nigel Farage's worst nightmare, a German in charge of the English dictionary, isn't it? <laughs> if Nigel Farage had his way, this, this, playing this show would be part of the British citizenship test. <laughs> you, you have to get 40 points at Countdown or you can't live here. Where would you move, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> Have you, uh, have you got mascots today? Rod, have you got a mascot? Uh, I'm wearing my uh, lucky pants. <laughs> your, your lucky pants? I'm wearing my lucky underpants, yeah. I've had them since the 1980s and I've worn them for school exams, university exams, my wedding night. <laughs> I would say the fact that your undercarriage hasn't grown since you were in school is quite unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't get me wrong, they're unfeasibly tight. <laughs> Can we, can we see the said lucky pants? I can show you them if you want. But... Yeah, sure. Nothing really to see, they're just a... You know, just a regular pair of... Oh, just a, a regular pair of lucky... Lucky pants, sir. Just, uh... just a regular... Oh, John, have you got a mascot? Uh, if, if illness is a mascot, <coughs> Jimmy, then yes, I bring with me uh, World Cup fever. Yeah. Best to get involved with World Cup fever before England's tournament has begun, I find. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be very much endorsing in all the joy of the World Cup today since it hasn't properly started yet. <laughs> I will confidently state that if I get a nine-letter word today, England will win the World Cup. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Uh, Freddie, have you got a mascot? I have. It's probably the only other cricketer that you've heard of. It is Lanky the Giraffe. <laughs> um, right, you've got Peter Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> In a novelty hat. <laughs> Has he brought you good luck over the years? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to have a go at uh, Lanky the Giraffe, but I think he's got a limited repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just that, and mm. he's a hell of a mascot. Blanky, everyone. <laughs> Sure, have you got a mascot? Yes, I do, Jimmy. What do you I got do. Some? I have here the Countdown Ashes. Oh. <laughs> These are the original <laughs> Countdown Ashes. <laughs> and in here are the ashes of Carol Vorderman's first pair of Spanx. She wore them for 28 series. <laughs> there we go. I'm happy to play for that. I've got so many of those clocks at home. Teapot. The teapot thing you get. <laughs> so many of those. I'd be happy to play for something different tonight. I'm surprised you made it here on time if you think that's a clock. <laughs> <laughs> OK, over in Dictionary Corner, we've got Henning Vane. <laughs> one of the most famous German words is Schadenfreude, which is defined as the pleasure one gets from the misfortune of others. For example, if you see someone trip over or if they lose two World Wars and one World Cup. <laughs> You've lived in Britain a long time now. What's the weirdest English word you've come across? It's quite a few, actually. And, uh, quite misleading, I think, is the word haberdashery. <laughs> <laughs> How is that misleading? <laughs> and because by the sound of the word, you would expect them selling something really, really substantial. <laughs> you would go, oh, I go down the haberdashery and buy a ton of heavy machinery. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, all you get is bits and bobs. So. <laughs> Then my favourite word probably is gubbins. <laughs> <laughs> and then I really like Herbert. 
<laughs> really like that. So, oh, yeah, well, right, old Herbert. Uh, <laughs> and with Henning, of course, is Susie Dent. <laughs> okay, we've got a famous Lancastrian on the show. Uh, Favourite Lancastrian word? Oh, we were having a chat before. Um, won't be Freddie, and um, you haven't heard of Mom. half of the, my favourites, which are things like piss mowers, which apparently are ants. <laughs> what piss cats? What are pi piss cats? People who drink a lot. <laughs> and you've heard that phrase? Oh, oh goodness, shout it at me. <laughs> <laughs> and the one that you had heard of, meat pies are meat growlers in Lancashire. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're talking about now. <laughs> OK, and in charge of numbers, it's Rachel Riley. Hey. <laughs> Rachel is a mathematician with a background in quantum theory, fluid mechanics and a remarkable aptitude for mental arithmetic, which is all well and good, but can you do this? <laughs> Come on, with your maths degree. Come on. Is that it? Strangely arousing. <laughs> Rachel, how do I compare to Nick Hewer as a host of this show? Um, well, Nick's kind of got his own catchphrases now, and you don't really have any, so he what, kind what's of... What's his catchphrase? Like, be sure of it. When Susie does her origin of words, he talks about her special spot. And whenever... <laughs> <laughs> whenever... Be sure of your special spot. <laughs> when it's my numbers game, he tells the contestants it's time for them to enter my area. <laughs> He's a disgrace. <laughs> OK, tonight the prize the teams will be competing for is this, the Countdown Tandem. Oh, all right. <laughs> what I think is ridiculous about that is they cycled about ten yards, but they still have to wear helmets. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he dressed like that to go on a bike? Why is he... <laughs> More to the point, he's got a helmet on, but if he comes off with a bare top, mm. he's got skids, he's yeah. got all... <laughs> <laughs> and also, you should have a stronger rider at the back. Just a little tip. <laughs> OK, let's count down, everyone. Time let's for the first... <laughs> Time for the first game. Sean and Freddie, you get the first pick of the letters. Two's away, Fred. Um, consonant, please. Consonant. Consonant? <laughs> Which one are you going to go for? Oh, consonant, please. Thanks, Freddie. Oh, hang on. Jimmy, I've uh, written a few countdown-related poems for this evening, and uh, before we all get going, I would like to read you one of my poems, please. Yes? Do we have <laughs> any <laughs> option on this? <laughs> uh, incredible highs, incredible lows. It's a roller coaster ride. Strap in for some countdown in. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the games. Okay. Sean and Freddie. Uh, why is Freddie dressed up as Sean? <laughs> you look like a before and after for uh, some miracle cure. <laughs> Are you short sighted, eh? Yeah, I can't, I can't really see past over there. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exactly the same. Go on, pick the letters. Um, a vowel, please. A. A consonant, please. S. A vowel, please. O. A consonant. F. A consonant. R. A vowel, please. U. A consonant. M. And a vowel, please. And the last one. E. OK, so for the first time tonight, here's the countdown clock.
Rod, how many letters? <laughs> you what? <laughs> well, you're not going to believe this. What, what have you got, Rod? I have got. Uh... I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> You've got one. Okay, John, how many you got? I can reveal that England are going to win the World Cup because I've got a nine. <laughs> well, you better be sure. Sean, how many have you got? Five. Freddie, how many? Five. Five. Okay. We're going to get rid of uh, Fluffles. Does, it oh. <laughs> anyone, does anyone want stew? Because we're going to make too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't think I'd say this tonight, but that was a big rabbit. <laughs> say that very often without <laughs> worry. Like, man, that was a big rabbit. <laughs> uh, Rod, what was your one-letter word? It's just the F I had. <laughs> I mean, the A was there is the annoying thing for you. I know, if I'd had more time. <laughs> um, Sean, your five? Smurf. <laughs> The reason I chose this, Smurf, is my bonded safety word. <laughs> Smurf! <laughs> Smurf! <laughs> Smurf! <laughs> I said it! Uh, Susie, is, is, is Smurf there? It's not in there, no. Susie, you heartless bitch. <laughs> okay, uh, Freddie. Um, you're five. Forms. Forms. Is it foams? Foams. Like forms or foams or. <laughs> is it. Is it like forms? that? Forms. <laughs> With an R or an A. Foams or forms? You say. Right, like foams. <laughs> What's that? Okay. I'm not going to say it. Say it. <laughs> say foams and then forms. Forms? Forms. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Oh, John, your nine-letter word. Ooh. Ooh. Quite exciting. Well, uh, every year, of course, uh, well, every few years, we have a census in the country to count how many people are doing certain jobs, so you find out how many doctors there are in this country, and you count the farmers, so you can find out which is the most farmerous region. <laughs> farmerous. I mean, really? I hope and pray... <laughs> Is it, is it in there? Well, just because Sean called me a heartless bitch, I'm going to say, <laughs> yes, you can have it. <laughs> well, just like in England in the World Cup, I'm afraid it's disallowed at the last minute. No. <laughs> So that's five points to Freddie and Sean. Yes, well done. <laughs> Penny, Susie, could, could they have done better? Uh, we had an eight, didn't we? Four arms. Oh, yeah. OK. So at the end of that, uh, oh, Sean and Freddie are in the lead with five. Well yeah. On to our first numbers round. OK, John, Rod, your turn to pick the numbers. Do you reckon, in honour of the rabbit, should we have one massive one and then five small ones? <laughs> Good idea. May I, before we get to it, can I read <laughs> <laughs> one more of my lovely countdown poems, please? Uh, yes. Numbers and letters, words and figures. Give yourself a blood clot, win the holy teapot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rod. Uh -huh. Sure. Oh, one big one and then some small ones, is it? I already yeah. picked ages ago. Oh, why isn't Rachel done it in then? <laughs> I'm just lazy like that. Attention. Two, four, six, six. eight, <laughs> six, <laughs> nine, and seventy five. Oh, shit. And the target, <laughs> 846. And your time starts now. Next 
the target was 846. John, did you get it? Yes. Uh, Rod, did you get it? Uh, yeah. You seem to still be doing it. <laughs> I was just, uh, it was just a delay going from my brain to my hand holding the pen. Thank you, Doug. Sean, did you get it? No, I got to about 8.50-ish. Uh, Freddie? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Do you, do you think you got 846? I, I mean, think I might have done it. Yeah. Well, talk us through. How do you think you might have done it? Oh, fuck. Uh... <laughs> 9 add 2. 9 add 2 is 11. It is. Times 75. <laughs> <laughs> Times 75, you were, dude. 825. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> add 6. <laughs> 83, 1. What have I got left? A six and a four. I had a six and a four. Six and a four. You got eight for one, so that would have been five points. I got eight for one. <laughs> eight for one, okay, near enough. Pretty good. Uh, John, how did you do it? Uh, 75 plus nine is 84. 84? Six plus four is ten. I don't know what I'm writing. Six plus four, ten. Multiply them together and add six. Lovely, eight, four, six. So that's ten points to John and Rod. <laughs> the scores at the moment, Sean and Freddie are on five, John and Rod are on ten. And here is your teaser. The words are Nude Fred, and the clue is get what you deserve. That's Nude Fred, <laughs> get what you deserve. See you after the break. Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were nude Fred and the clue was get what you deserve. It was, of course, refunded. <laughs> so, John and Rod are in the lead. OK, time to mix things up. They've been playing in teams so far, but this game is just for Freddie and John. So, John, your turn to choose. I would like a consonant, please. C. Can we have another consonant, please? R. A vowel, please. A. Uh, a consonant, please. N. Uh, a vowel. E. That's a word! <laughs> a consonant, please. V. Uh, consonant, please. W. And a vowel, please. O. And a consonant, please. And the last one. T. And your time starts now. John, what have you got? A dodgy nine. <laughs> <laughs> a dodgy nine? Yeah, I mean, I was fairly confident with Farmerus, but I'm not going to lie to you, this one is looking less certain. But I really want England to win. <laughs> OK, Freddie, what you got? Just a five. <laughs> so, what's your five letter word? Waver. Why didn't you just go with Crane if you couldn't be asked? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd try. Oh, fair play, it's admirable. Thank you. <laughs> OK, John, your nine letter word. So England can win the World Cup if you get this huge moment. Well, uh, sometimes uh, on the back of a horse you have a cart made of wood, but sometimes you have a woven cart made of wool. <laughs> <laughs> You've gambled our future. <laughs> on a woven cart. Yeah, woven cart. Or if that's not a nine, which I don't see why it shouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> perhaps if you get married on a horse, you uh, commit a canter vow. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you Germans, but I think that's the World Cup in the bag, Henry. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. Woven cart or cant of hour, either of those nine-letter words that are definitely real in the dictionary. Um, they're not in, I'm afraid. <laughs> you definitely hit the post, though. <laughs> <laughs> so that's five points to Freddie and Sean. <laughs> Henning, Susie, could they have done any better? We had overact. 
for seven. OK, so at the end of that, Sean and Freddie have ten. John and Rod also have ten. <laughs> Back in next. Time now for Sean and Rod to go head to head. Sean, your turn to pick the numbers. Uh, one for the top, Rachel, please. One for the top, and then, yeah, you, the usual. Five little ones. Whatever you think's best. Thanks, Sean. Right, here we go. Seven. I don't know, I don't want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me the number I've got to get to, and I'll do it myself, blind. <laughs> wow, this is like extreme countdown. Ten. Oh, no, he's looking. <laughs> well, of course. I was just having a bit of fun, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and your time starts now. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> six and eight and seven and nine and twenty. <laughs> what's, seven, what's seven and eight? It's fifteen. Plus two is twenty-nine. Ten. Two tens. <laughs> Seventy-five. <laughs> Ah, it's hopeless. <laughs> can't, be, can't be done. I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> yes! So the target was 290. Sean, did you get it? Yes, I did. <laughs> what did you get it? 256. <laughs> no, I've got it. You've got it, go on. Uh, six to be, take away two is four times 75 is 300, take away the 10. Six minus two is four yeah. times 75 is 300, take away the 10. 290. Nice. 10 points to Rob. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. You got, you got it how? Same as that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got it, it's easy. I could do it blind, I could have done it blind. <laughs> like that moment in uh, Beautiful Mind when he just sees the equation and just goes... <laughs> I'll probably get asked to work for NASA after this. <laughs> in the canteen, obviously. <laughs> you don't believe okay. me? It's incredible, that is. Okay. After all the stuff I've done for you. <laughs> OK, time to go across to Dictionary Corner. Henning, what have you got for us? Well, so, obviously, I came over with very basic school English, so... Uh... Didn't know any idioms, didn't know any colloquialisms, had next to no vocabulary. The only thing I had was grammar, because I learned that at school, and I would say everything exactly the way it was written in my grammar book, and uh, <laughs> I would go, I was, you were, he, she, it was, we were, you were, they were. Yeah, having lived in London for the past 12 years these days, I go, I was, you was, he, she, it was, we was, you was, they was. <laughs> <laughs> and now I wonder, when I say we was, how do people take that? Do they, do they go, ooh, look at that Henning, ever so well assimilated? <laughs> or do they go the other way? What, he has been living here for all those years and he still can't get the most basic things right? It's embarrassing. <laughs> I recently got me answer, did a gig round here in Bolton and got heckled with that wonderful line, fuck off back to London. <laughs> <laughs> and thank everyone. <laughs> so the scores at the moment, uh, Sean and Freddie are on 10, John and Rod are on 20. <laughs> and here is your teaser. The words are butt bash and the clue is they can get a little dirty. That's butt bash, they can get a little dirty. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser, the words were butt bash. The clue was they can get a little dirty. It was, of course, bathtubs. <laughs> OK, before we go on, he doesn't work here anymore, but he keeps on showing up. Please welcome Joe Wilkinson. Hey. What's going on, Joe? Uh, well, you know, I was uh, fired at the end of the last series. Uh, <laughs> ridiculous. But it's given me a lot of spare time, so I've, uh, I've become an inventor. <laughs> uh, this is one of my inventions. It's a shopping trolley that grown-ups can sit in. <laughs> <laughs> it's, one of the, it's one of those ideas. <laughs> when you come up with it, you think, 
Why has no one done this? <laughs> <laughs> I like you thinking, Jimmy. You're thinking, that is fucking brilliant. <laughs> but hold your horses, mate. It also comes with this. <laughs> what, what this allows you to do, it allows you to let other customers know that even if they're just buying a pint of milk, they still can't go in front of you. <laughs> Piss off, mate! <laughs> Piss off, mate! <laughs> investors yet, but I'm not worried. I've got other ideas. Fabio, if you come on, mate. This is uh, my half-brother, Fabio. He's um, <laughs> got a cracking body. He's just got the IQ of a pencil. <laughs> this is another very simple idea. What this is, is, is a harpoon <laughs> that stops rollerbladers. <laughs> <laughs> it's very similar to normal harpoons, except you fired at uh, uh, rollerbladers. <laughs> Pop that way. And, uh, my final invention is a uh, pill. Simple pill, yeah? <laughs> you know, Barack, as they turn your, your piss yellow. <laughs> this doesn't turn your piss yellow. This turns your legs blue. <laughs> oh. I'm just wondering how Sean first came up with his safe bondage word. Okay, on with the game. Sean and Freddie, uh, your turn to choose the letters. Come on, Freddie. Um, consonant, please. Thank you, Freddie. I'm not going to help. I'm just going to be a uh, spectator, uh, impartial spectator. Okay. Go on, Freddie. <laughs> Go on, Freddie. <laughs> Go on, Freddie. Oh. And a vowel, please. Give him two. <laughs> e. Yeah, another vowel, please. Yeah. Yeah. I. And consonant, please. Y. A vowel. A. A consonant, please. D. Um, a vowel, please. Another I. Um, a consonant, please. P. And a vowel, please. And um, you sure? Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, why not? Before you do that, can I uh, read my final poem? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everyone. <laughs> Focus and passion. All over the country, people flock <laughs> to hear the countdown clock. <laughs> and then you press clock and seamless. Sean, how many letters you get? Only five. <laughs> Freddie, how'd you do? Six. Uh, Rod? Six. And John? Nine! <laughs> Nine. OK. Sean, you're five? Party. <laughs> pa party? How are you spelling party? I want a party. <laughs> Party. <laughs> uh, Susie, is it in the dictionary? No. <laughs> Freddie, what you got? What's your six? I'm not as confident now. <laughs> Rapid. Yes! <laughs> I spelled that, that wrong, with an E on end. Rapid. 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 <laughs> Susie Dent, is it there? <laughs> no party, no rapid, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry. Rob, what have you got? I've got reaped. Reap. Or diaper. Reaped or diaper? Reaped or diaper. It's the same. Oh, you went for words that are in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's hear the nine-letter word that's going to take us all the way to the World Cup final. Well, we're all familiar with the popular technological item, the iPad, and, and we all know that use of the iPad is iPadry. 
so... <laughs> sure, sure, that much is clear. If you were to head to the most farmerous region of this country, which <laughs> we all know is Somerset, you'd encounter Old MacDonald. And what does he use? Well, he uses an EIE -E iPad. <laughs> E-I-E-I-Padre. E-I-E-Padre. E-I-E-I-Padre. Oh, e MacDonald had an iPad. E-I-E-I-Padre. <laughs> what, uh, Susie, is it in the dictionary? I'm going to be solely responsible for England going out of the World Cup, aren't I? It's not in. <laughs> oh, it's funny with farmers being in there, but that not being in there. <laughs> I feel, I feel a lot of the time this dictionary just gets in the way of the fun. <laughs> So that's six points to uh, John and Rod. Uh, Susie, Henning, what could they have had? Uh, just sixes. I'm sure there is more there, but I couldn't spot any. Um, we paid for another six. I'm sure there is more there. I'm sure. You can have a little look then. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of that, Sean and Freddie have ten points, but John and Rod are in the lead with 26. <laughs> On to another numbers round. OK, John and Rod, your turn to pick the numbers. I'm going all out England. Getting every piece of shit I can find. I'm sure I feel about this. <laughs> one big, five small. Right, we've got one, six, Ooh. eight, another six, three, and the big one, 75. I'll keep 75 out of this. <laughs> <laughs> 626. Uh, OK, and your time right. starts now. It's an easy one, isn't it? Piece of piss. <laughs> so the target was 626. Did you get it, John? No. Oh, no, I was trying to make 1966. <laughs> Rod, did you get it? Uh, 625. 625, okay, pretty close. Sean? 65. Freddie? <laughs> I'll do it first. Okay. Just say no. Freddie, did you get it? 630. Sean, how did you get it? 8 times 75. 8, 75 is 600. 1 plus 3 is 4. Yep. Four sixes are twenty-four. Sorry, sorry, I got sixty-four. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Roth, how did you get sixty-five? I did seventy-five times eight, six hundred. Seventy-five times eight, six hundred. Six threes are eighteen plus six. Plus, plus the other one. six for twenty-four. Twenty-five. Yeah, well done. One away. Sixty-five. Well, it sounds patronising when you say it like that, Rachel. <laughs> Yeah. You get seven points. Yeah, Did so... no-one get it? Or do I? No, no-one got it, no. Well, well, I've got a little invention that might help. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a state-of-the-art abacus. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a normal abacus, doesn't it? But I'm just going to superglue a calculator to the <laughs> Could it be done, Rachel? Yeah, it could be done if you say um, 75 plus 3 is 78, times by 8 is 624. And then six divided by six is one, add one for two to add on, and six to six. She's not wrong. <laughs> OK, the scores at the moment, Sean and Freddie have ten points, John and Rod have 33, and here is your final teaser. The words are slag night, and the clue is <laughs> a private affair. That's slag night, a private affair. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser, the words were slag night and the clue was a private affair. It was, of course, genitals. <laughs> OK, time for our final letters game. John, your turn to choose. Oh, before that, I've just written one more poem. <laughs> I didn't expect them to go down as well as they have done. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't write enough, uh, but now seeing how appreciative you all are, uh, <laughs> there's one more out. Uh, <laughs> Almost done. We've had our fun. It's a shame, but no crime. I run out of rhyme. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> I jump, pick the letters quick before he does a fucking other one. <laughs> 
I'll have a consonant, please. OK. Are you writing with a foam finger now? It's all out England now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you put it up? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> H. Difficult to write, isn't it? Oh. Uh, vowel, please. J, let's see. <laughs> a consonant, please. N. And a vowel, please. Go for honey. Yes. E. <laughs> and a consonant, please. Be a Y, be a Y. Ah. Uh, oh. D. Honeyed. Well, honed. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming towards the end of the show. As a little favour, could we not have the clock on this one? I find it very distracting. No. <laughs> Vowel, please. I. 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 Consonant, please. S. Vowel, please. O. A consonant, please. And the last one. S. OK, and your time starts now. <laughs> How many did you get? <laughs> uh, Freddie, how many did you get? Five. Five. Sean, what'd you get? Uh, six. Six. Uh, Rod? <laughs> John. John, how many did you get? Eight. Oh. Oh. Does that mean you... semi-finals? <laughs> I think it probably means we're going out in the group stage. <laughs> Could you smack uh, Rod on the back of the head? <laughs> nine! <laughs> a nine-letter word, OK. I've got a uh, nine-letter word, although I think... I think what you're going to say is that a lot of the letters don't need to be there. <laughs> Before we get the words, uh, Joe, why is Rachel wearing that, um, Well, the contraption? The game was dragging a little, so I made a, an activity centre. <laughs> Just talk me through the, uh, the Joe Wilkinson Activity Centre. It's dragging, so I've, I've done a, a little article about crop rotation. <laughs> uh, it's a cup of soup there, paddock whistle, and some Johnnies. <laughs> That's, uh, it's an envelope if you want to send a letter. <laughs> There's no pen. Fuck. <laughs> Freddie, what's your five-letter word? Shine. Shine. Well, I could have put an S on the end or a D and got a six, couldn't I? You, you could have done, yeah, but, I mean, that's Missed significantly out. more effort. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I did. I got shines. You got shines? Yeah. So, Sean got shines, so stick an S on the end of that. John, what was your eight? Uh, it's snoodish. <laughs> snoodish, of course. Right round your neck. It's not a proper snood, but it is sort of snoodish. <laughs> Is, uh, is Snoodish in there, Killjoy Corner? <laughs> <laughs> um, not quite. What was your nine, Rod? Well, like I say, it's nine, but I'm pretty sure you're going to say a lot of the letters are superfluous. <laughs> I've got D E N I S. Yeah. H O double S, I've got. You, you had one extra S and one, two. Oh, no, one O S, I meant, sorry. Okay. Like <laughs> well, my word is den, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> With his silent issues. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's six points to uh, Sean and Freddie. <laughs> Hoodies, Susie, could they have done any better? Hoodies. Hoodies, yeah. Hoodies was as good as it got. It was for us, yeah. Okay, Sean and Freddie have 16 points. John and Rod have 33. Okay, fingers on buzzers. It's time for today's countdown conundrum. If I get this, does that count as getting a nine? If, if you got this, yeah, that would count as getting a nine, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, would, would that count as a nine? Yeah. Yeah. OK, fingers on buzzers. It's time for today's Countdown Conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> John. John. Is it bath water? Woo! Yeah! He's only gone and bloody done it! Let's go, 
Mark Short and Freddie have 16, but tonight's winners with 43 points, John and Rod! <laughs> you won the countdown tandem! <laughs> Jump on! Thanks to all our panelists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night! <laughs> And that's back next Friday at 9. Tomorrow night, Tom Hanks will find out that life is like a box of chocolates. Everyone else gets the good ones first, and you're left with the one that's slightly warm and a little bit melted. Forrest Gump at 9. Next, tonight, though, Alan Carr's getting all chatty.